Now you see the title and the cover right there. Ben's with us. Ben, appreciate it. Uh, out of all of your reporting, uh, is there a smoking gun? No. There are a number of concerns raised by my reporting about potential conflicts of interest, uh, <clears throat> business dealings of Hunter Biden and of other Biden relatives, uh, creating possibilities of avenues for undue influence. Uh, this is a pattern that really dates back to Joe Biden's first term in the Senate uh, and some controversy over some bank loans that his brother got back then uh, continues down uh, to even this summer with Hunter Biden's foray into painting. And so uh, this has been a theme of, of Biden's public career really from the start. Uh, and, and it's and documented. By, and by theme, you mean that he, enriching himself sort of this this these sort of soft bribes, if you will, or favorable treatment because of, of his office? What I would say is that consistently uh, his relatives have engaged in business dealings with people who have an interest in influencing Joe Biden, okay. uh, and that at the highest levels of power, uh, even something that creates the appearance of a conflict of interest is a concern. Uh, and, and some of these business dealings do create at least that appearance. So, so this is very different than the working man Joe from Scranton image that the president, previously vice president, previously Senator Biden portrayed on the stump. I think it, it does complicate that image of Joe Biden. You know, he's at one point during the financial crisis uh, condemning cowboy capitalists in the hedge fund industry. At that time, Hunter Biden and his brother, Jim Biden, that's Joe's brother, Jim Biden, Hunter's uncle, uh, together were running a hedge fund called Paradigm uh, Global Management uh, that was at one point uh, running a fund with Alan Stanford, the notorious Ponzi schemer. There were a number mm -hmm. of other issues raised by that hedge fund foray. Uh, and that is something that, that is inconsistent, I think, with the folksy down-home image of Joe Biden that many people have. Yeah, the, the president, for his part, says, I don't know anything about this. Take a listen. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Does your reporting support that statement? Well, Joe Biden has made a number of statements to that effect on the campaign trail. At one point, he told my colleague Mark Caputo that he's never discussed his relatives' business dealings with anybody whatsoever. Uh, Tony Bobulinski has come forward and said, that's not true. I discussed uh, a CEFC, that's a Chinese oil company venture that I was planning to go into with Jim and Hunter Biden with Joe Biden in Los Angeles in 2017. Uh, Joe Biden's campaign, when, when Bobulinski came out and said that, issued a statement saying that he never considered going into business with his family members, but they didn't actually contest anything that Bob Yulinski said. And Bob Yulinski said that, that Joe Biden had discussed his family business, his family's business dealings, and that contradicts what Joe Biden has said. Ben, I'm going to say your last name for the third time, and I think I'm going to get it right this time. Ben Schreckinger, correct? You nailed it, Leland. That's there, right. Th there, we, there we go. Uh, great reporting, great work. Uh, for some reason, I think there's going to be more to talk about on this subject. We'll have you back. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. The Biden honeymoon is over. We're going to show you.